Hey everybody, Johnny Van Zandt from Leonard Skinner, and you're watching from Texas, Meg Scott's Art Gallery on Web TV, American Hearts Radio. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is Meg Scott with the Meg Scott Art Gallery Show with American Hearts Radio, and I'm interviewing Brian T. Shirley. This time, I'm... This is Chris. <laughs> Brian, what's been going on with you, man? You get sold out all the time. Well, uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a lot of hard work, as you know, Meg, not oh, just uh, performing, but the uh, marketing and promoting and those other things, that's really where the business part of show business is. Yeah, and, it is. You uh -huh. know, now you're starting to enter your own little world of doing all this stuff too, so that's kind of neat. Um, yeah. Yeah, me and Dennis Aloya have a show we call the Magic Comedy and Improv Extravaganza. I go up and do comedy, he goes up and does magic, then we both at the end come together and do uh, some improv, and it's a game that I created called uh, You're the Jury, where the audience is, used, is actually the jury. We got somebody that's going to be the defendant. I uh, am the defense attorney, and Dennis is the prosecutor. Oh, so are you, you know, one of those? Yeah, uh, it's all those our audience uh, participation. Oh. They sent up pieces of paper with weird sentences on it, and that's how we defend the client. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I saw that. That see was it, pull, see us pulling us. That's what we're pulling out of that uh, thing that he's got. It's pieces of paper. We don't know what's on them until uh, we, you know. Cool. So I'd say it's improv. Mm -hmm. And the audience just loves the game. I do it as a fine so, gentleman. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're really good at that. Well, actually, it's the same game you saw uh, with me and Franny. Yeah, that's right. Franny uh, Sheraton. Yeah, uh, me, Franny, and Lance. That was the second game we did the night you were there. But now yeah. we've taken that game and we're putting it with uh, the magic and improv. I mean, the magic and comedy. Uh -huh. So we've added another element to the. Well, that's great. That's yeah. great. I was telling my husband, I said. Uh, you know, I think I saw Brian T. Shirley when he had the cream cheese debacle, and then Brian T. Shirley when he had the, uh, uh, oh, uh, the <laughs> belly dancers. The belly oh, dancers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about that, because that's the, really fascinating. <laughs> the, the cream cheese debacle was actually, um... Planned? Or Boyd, it? No, Boyd, yeah, it was planned. Boyd, uh, the station owner of uh, Kinetic Hi-Fi wrote that little script. He said, here's what I want you to do. And, uh -huh. you know, filming uh, behind the scenes at Kinetic High Five at the time, BTS on the road wasn't even uh, done yet. Yeah. And uh, he wanted me to do, it was some weird thing he had where every time I came into the uh, studio, he would screw with whatever food I left. You know, <laughs> you know so he put the cream cheese in the freezer. In the well, what freezer. are you going to do with cream cheese when it's, you know, frozen? Uh -huh. So... That was the whole thing. That was it. You know, uh -huh. he just wanted to go in, get aggravated, and then yell at him. Yeah, yeah. So that was it. And then, so that's the show you did before this one, and this one's BTS on the road, right? Right. This is and BTS. you're a traveling comedian, right? Yeah, and yeah. that's where the ballet dancers came in. Well, I don't even I don't just show you the club and no. stand up. You know, I show you a little bit of the trip if it's scenic enough. I'll film a little bit of it. Uh, Although I'm really running out of scenery because I keep going down the same roads. <laughs> and then uh, 
I show you the other performers and anything else interesting I fit into BTS on the road. So belly dancers, come on. Oh, I mean, yeah. You had a great that time. time. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. You know, we're going to, I got to get, but my camera was in the car and I was mm -hmm. going, or I didn't bring it or something. I've got what I, I use my phone actually for a lot of that BTS. It but, worked. Oh, it worked good. And I still keep in contact with Gigi, the blonde. Uh, really? She, oh, well, is there something there? <laughs> I wish, but no, it's just really nice, and nice uh, uh, every time I try to get in that area and do a show, I let her know, hey, I'm going to be there, and, uh -huh. but she's usually performing, unfortunately, that's what happens yeah. when you're in this industry, you meet other performers, but performers. Fridays, Saturdays, those are the big nights. So, so was you, that a stag party or some kind of party, wedding? <laughs> it wasn't you a stag party. too. DJ it was a, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't, I, I, I uh, actually, that night, it was, I did stand up, and I think, um, I may have DJed a little bit, but, uh. Well, you that, remember when you had the guy that was, uh, wouldn't pay you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you followed him? <laughs> y'all fought, y'all didn't follow him, but y'all went to where he was. Well, we found him. We uh, found him, and you'll go in there, and, okay, I'll be coming out with money. <laughs> well, so that was, uh. What you said to him. <laughs> it's funny that you bring that up, because, uh. The night before last, I was with um, Drew Howard, who's in the video, too. Drew actually did a little talk himself when I went in to get the money. And uh, Drew always talks about that now. I mean, every time I see him, he's like, remember the, remember the guy <laughs> yeah, I, Brunswick, I remember Brunswick. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. I, you know. But, uh, yeah, the guy just uh, disappeared on us at the club and wouldn't come back. And, and that yeah. morning, I tried to get in touch with him. And, yeah, next thing you know... Bottom line is, I didn't get all the money. I got. Yeah, you got part of it, but you did get some of it. You yeah, know, I even though somebody would do that. Right, even though we didn't do a show, what people don't understand is, is when you contract and do a show with a, a performer, um, you know, not only are you blocking okay. off them to come to you, you're blocking off them taking any other gigs on that. Right. You know. Right. So you have so to really, really You can't just it. show up and then go. Well, no show. Sorry, you got to go home now. No, no, no. You've took in my time. I could have booked something else mm -hmm. for that. And that you could, well, you know. um, didn't you? Uh, oh, never mind. But about that. But uh, yeah, I've been watching you since. What year was it, Brian, that we met? I know you. You had a book. Uh, your mentor, philosopher, uh, um, entrepreneur. Actor, comedian. <laughs> is there something else here I'm, I'm missing? Because if you there is, all guy, and you are on lights. Matter. You are in lights. You really are. I, I, you know, it takes a lot of work. I think two things: you got to work hard, and you got to produce. So you promote, you market, and then whenever you do get the show, you produce. You back up what you marketed and promoted. And I feel that I do that, so that's why I continue to do it. And I know there's people out there that get aggravated because I do a lot of promotions. And no, uh, it, that's what you do. They do. I mean, there, there are people, oh, you're always on Facebook with your shows. And I'm like, well, you're always on there with your damn kids and yeah, yeah, puppies. So, you you know, yeah. And plus the fact I want to say to them, hey, you know, I tell you what, I'll give you my electric bill and I'll cut down posting 10%. Really? <laughs> pay yeah. my electric bill every month. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the, but there are a lot of great supporters on Facebook, too. I mean, there are a lot of really that's great people on Facebook. That's what I was going to say. You, you surround yourself with good people, and that's what you get. You right. Know, and Mike and Aloya and Bruce Shepard yeah. are good people. Oh, man, they're amazing. I did a video for that pro, the promo for the... Uh, I saw it. Dennis, and, then, you know, the first one, there's just the green screen the behind. Gravitron, yeah. And uh, next thing you know, Bruce puts a, a backing behind us in that promo video. So now I'm using theirs because... No, we didn't even ask. All of a sudden, I just, boom, popped up, and I was like, oh, he took the video I did and made it better. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, he's a genius, so, I think. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's very smart uh, to be able to do all this and make characters and avatars and, and just everything. Uh, I'm just an artist, so. No, but I'm you're amazing. Yeah, I'm a painter. I, I see behind you the lady in the lake. Uh, uh, and the All right, and the river. The fireman? Yeah, the firemen fire. are going to go to, we had a church fire the other day. I'm going to take that over to them as soon as possible uh, and tell them. 
we have two fire stations. One's over here and it's new. So I'm going to take that to them and present it to them or ask them, you know, here, do you want this? <laughs> right. Oh, that's good. That looks great. Yeah. And uh, I did, was able to do a uh, Brazosport. Um, oh, they cut thing. off. Yeah. And that was fun. But you are really tearing it up. I mean, you, you're going <laughs> everywhere, Brian. Well, I mean. It's like I said, you have to work hard uh, and to get noticed and to get booked. And it's still yeah. hard getting booked. It's still hard getting work. Um I'll give you an example of what I'm going to be doing uh, next week. I'm going down to Florida. I'm doing a show on a casino boat. Then I'm headlining Groucho's Comedy Club. I've never done that. That's going to be cool. Mm, then yeah, I, I drive back to Atlanta. I'm not even coming home. Fly to Denver. And I got a cars that I got to rent. So I can go to Colorado Springs, shoot like a scene for this independent film, get back to go back to Denver, fly to Atlanta, get in a car, and drive to North Carolina and do a show. I'm doing that within eight days. Uh, wow. I'll be from Florida to Atlanta to Denver to North Carolina oh. doing shows and <laughs> doing a scene for a film. But I mean, like I said on radio today, I did my radio segment. I, I was like, man, it's exhilarating and it's exhausting. Exhausting. And if, oh, and if yeah. that's Got where you want to be, though, if you're exhilarated and you're exhausted, you're working yeah. your butt off. <laughs> I know. I you're know. working your butt off if you're doing that, if you're feeling both of those. Well, I do what I paint what I want to paint. That's that's one of the things that I can't get inspired unless I see something that I want to paint. Right. And I've been doing Snoopy and Linus. I don't know if you can see this. Oh yeah, I can see it. See, uh, uh, Sally. And that's the the blonde Sally. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, Brian, did I ever send you a uh, military um, painting? Because you were in the Air Force, right? Mm Mm-hmm. If you did, uh, you, no, you I don't know. Okay, well, I got one for you. This one's perfect. You're going to love this one. Oh, wait a minute. You got it upside down. But that's, uh, yeah. Sorry. That, that's, uh, oh, wow. That would be, oh, my God. That is beautiful. It's, it's I don't know. You might want to give that to a VFW or something. I mean, no, that. No, I'm giving it to you. Are you kidding? Oh my God. You serve. You now, that I see is your picture now, isn't it? What? That oh, paint. yeah, it is right now, yeah. And uh, you change them, but wow, that is a beautiful painting. Uh, yeah, Mary. it is. is. It turned out really good. And I, I have noticed it with the attitude that I have is what I paint. If I'm angry, or not not really angry, but forceful feeling, mm-hmm. I can paint that. If I'm not, then I'll paint it looking more cartoonish. And so I oh, I got you, yeah. And yeah. my nephew almost went into the Marines. Got a medical discharge, but he almost went into the Marines, so I was going through a lot. So, mm. uh, but he's he's back, he's fine. He's good. Yeah, he went to training and in Paris Island, and he's good now. But uh, his foot was broke, so he had to drop out. But well, right right here on your show, though, I want to uh, say this before we go any further, and I unfortunately have to go pretty soon, but. Um, uh, I want to thank you for all the paintings you sent. It's you've lightened my life, and my dad still has two of uh, the, the uh, portraits. portraits you did in his hallway. You know they're hanging there proudly. When I go to my mom's house, there's one I gave her the scene of the beach with an umbrella uh-huh. in her bathroom, and she loves that one. My grandmother and. Uh, no, you, you, I'm really a generous person, and it's just amazing what you do. Oh, and the church. I, the, You know, the, the first one, well, they went quick. I'm so glad you got more cues. That's oh, one of the things I well, will we'll see. i got to show you. We're, it's not finished yet. But um, And the one, and then I took Tess's and another one of yours back. Yeah, oh, Tess is a second time. Bar, didn't she? Oh, they loved it. They, you know, I showed them the princess and the pea, and the the oh, like, that. Well, I, Yeah, I think people bid on it immediately before they could even really? put a, a paper out. Yeah, I heard somebody going, "Oh, that one's mine." <laughs> you know? Oh wow! I, think, I have to tell her that she's, yeah. she's going to take over. If and there I was her in, well, there was one. Did, there was one you did too, though, that they were going, "No, okay, I will. I want that one then." You know, and I've got which because uh, I gave them like four or five, so I'm trying to remember which ones I gave them. But uh, yeah, I've got the, you know, I'm looking at your stuff right now. I got the car. I've got the 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 greenish lady in the graveyard. I've got the admit one popcorn. I got the uh, tragedy and comedy faces. A ship, the dragon. Uh, then I got a lake. <laughs> oh wow! 
I got the ghost girls in there. I never went to Pittsburgh, so I wasn't able. I want to hand it to them. I don't want to mail it to them. I want to. Yeah. But I think they're going to start their show up again. So when I go to Pittsburgh, I'm going to bring that with me. Yeah, and uh, you know, just tell me when you need more because I paint every day. Every day I'm painting. It used to be that I would fall asleep painting, and I would right. do this. Yeah. And there would be a line on the canvas. And, uh, you can make that feel like a uh, stripper pole, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I went to a raw show one time. I called my sister up for your foot real quick. I yeah. called my sister. She said, Meg, where the hell are you? <laughs> because the raw show had a pole dancer. Oh, okay. And I filmed the pole dancer, and I told her, and I didn't think of it, you know. Right. She goes, where are you? <laughs> Some kind of experience, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. You've had all kinds of artists in different ways, you know? That was down in Houston. You've got yeah. great books out, don't you? Yeah, well, two of them are kind of like the toilet books, we call them, bathroom books. Yeah, bathroom they're books. they're uh, real easy reads. They're one-liners. You pick it up. You can start anywhere. In the, you know, there's no plot or anything, you know. And then uh, the third one actually is short stories about uh, being on the road for 20 years. Kind of a precursor to BTS on the road. I didn't realize, you know, uh -huh. I'll do that later, but the book is kind of like the series. It just shows behind the scenes stuff of, uh, there's a story with Tommy Chong and they're Cheech and Chong. Uh, oh, you know, wow. Yeah, that's um, not a that's, that's, that's not a G-rated story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's one with Tommy Chong, there's one with Daryl Rhodes, there's one with the Fat Doctor, who's that's his name. He, he, he's uh, out of D.C. Uh, there's I don't know, 13 short stories in there, just things that happened. Uh, my, while husband, yeah, my husband got the first one, the second one, though, and, uh, but he should because he spends an uh, hour and a half to two hours every night reading like four different stories. Really? Yeah, he's a reader. Well, uh, yeah, we'll have to get him to the, uh, the, I think it's 99 cents to download. Well, he's uh, on Kindle. Yeah, yeah, so it's on Kindle. If I can get him a free one, I'll try, but I don't know how... I, I'm terrible at trying to figure out how to do that, but I'll try. That's fine. That's fine. Because I can get. Oh, my, my uh oh, Tinkerbell. Yeah, there's my bell. Well, Brian, I, you are my mentor, man. You really are. Uh, like, ever since I've been around you, I thought I can do it. I can do it. And you are so giving and so caring. I appreciate it so much. Oh, no American problem. Heart Radio is going to love this, this interview. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing it. Finally, I get to interview you. You've interviewed <laughs> me three times. Yeah, that's true. On every show I've had, yeah. So, God bless you and uh, Mike and Bruce. Keep up the good work. And, hey, you're their only artist show, so you ought to, you know, get some, get oh, some, yeah, make some soul. Yeah. And, um, I'm going to do it like an artist would do it. Yeah. Know? Them, I think. Uh, <laughs> oh, beautiful. I'm, I'm working on it. You know. Well, these, hey, you people, I don't know which way to point, but you people, check out this show. Buy some of her great artwork. It's worth it. Her, some of them are good. Her <laughs> style of living. Make her style of living go higher, as a matter of fact. Oh, some of her stuff. Let her paint for you. Portraits, whatever. Landscaping. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it is a pleasure to be on the first guest on your podcast. If I'm not. You are. You the are. Second, All right. Well, I'm going to go watch some ball. I'm going to go watch some baseball. But you uh, take care. Oh, beautiful. And <laughs> thanks so much for having me on. This I can't wait to tell people. And I think this is going to be great. It this is going to be really interesting. Okay. Thank you, right. Brian. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> thanks, Meg. Hey, everybody. Johnny Manzan from Leonard Skinner. You're watching from Texas. Meg Scott's Art Gallery on Web TV, American Hearts Radio. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs>
this is Mike Aloya, behind the scenes, on the scene with Johnny Van Zandt, and we presented some paintings to him Look. from Meg Scott. <laughs> wow, that's nice. That was a handsome fellow back then. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one of uh, Gary Rossington's wife, she did. Yeah, Dale. Yeah. Yeah, and we've yeah. got one of Donnie over yeah. there, which we're going to give to Donnie. And uh, we're here with Johnny Van Zant, and that's the one Johnny likes. <laughs> I like right the American flag. Yep, and then right there, she did the for little free bird, man. Free bird! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couple things you like to say to Meg? Well, thank you, Meg, first of all. I appreciate it. That's awesome. And uh, Mike was telling me you donated these pictures and stuff for good cause, so always good to do that. And thank you again, sweetheart. God bless. All right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, we're going to get Johnny to sign these for Meg. I don't know if this pen will work. It, it will. It's a silver Sharpie. Free bird. <laughs> Johnny Van Zandt, 2015. you got to sign it. Your oh, name. Not, really? <laughs> <laughs> that that would work. <laughs> Now it just went all over Meg's pretty painting. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> and then this one here, we're going to go ahead and sign and send back to Meg. There you go. There you got to put God bless you, baby, on that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's Meg giving you? <laughs> Meg's awesome. <laughs> Meg's an awesome woman. There you go. All right. All right. Behind the scenes, wave hi to all your fans, Johnny. Yeah, Mike, I'm off, folks. And look at Mike's at my house. <laughs> it's always good to work. Absolutely. God, poor job. God bless you guys. <laughs>